right. Hey, this is Scott Johnson with Grace Empowered Living. I'm so glad that you've chosen to join me today. We are on day 19, and I am blessed to be able to bring these lessons to you. They are very, very encouraging. I know they're encouraging to many of you as you begin to taste and see that the, indeed the Lord is good. You know, what we're doing this, and we're doing this based on my new book, called the Transform Life Journal. And I want to encourage you to pick up a copy of this. This is available in hardback as well as soft cover. And uh, you definitely want to get your hands on this. This is a powerful, powerful read. It'll inspire you. It isn't really until, you know, we can you can hear someone talk, but it isn't until you're actually able to, you know, walk through it, you know, on your own and make notes and what the what God's saying to you and you know, passages that are related to each and every one of these days that you walk through. So make the next 30 days, uh, not only for yourself, but for somebody you care and love, uh, transformative. And so we're on day number 19. We're going to go ahead and get right into our day. Our word for the day is kind of carries on from what yesterday, you know, we're talking about the love of God, but this love the unlovable okay it's called love the unlovable it says first john 4 16 we have come to we have come into an intimate intimate experience with god's love and we trust in the love he has for us god is love so here in the in the uh, that's that's more of a probably niv there but here no it's tpt it's a uh, the passion translation so it goes on to say those who are living in love are living in god and god lives through them god lives through them so the reflection here for this lesson here is uh god's greatest need it's called god's greatest need let's read it together okay some people think they understand what love is. They describe it through words of poetry and song. Have you noticed that 70% of the music you hear focuses on the yearning and need for another's love? We are, are each born into this world uh, that needs, wants, and yearns for this vital ingredient. Is it possible that God himself is the only one that can truly fill this empty void? If true, then the person who discovers this mystery becomes the most powerful person on the planet. Well, think about that for a moment. What is that saying here to you? That, you know, that, and I, I've, I've spoke to this in many instances in the past, but but really, you think about when Jesus met the woman at the at the well. You remember that story? And he said, I have drink to give you that once you drink of it, you know, if you thirst, you'll never thirst again. And she had been, you know, the greater lesson of the story, which I think many people miss, is that Jesus looked and he saw that she was out there trying to meet her own needs for love and significance and value and worth and therefore she was out uh she had been with other men she had been married five times been with other men other relationships five different times and the one she was with now she wasn't even married to and jesus rightly de uh, defined the the real issue and the real issue was that she was living from the from the inside out in other words she's looking outside of herself for, uh, for, for this thing called relevance and value rather than from the inside out. Well, Jesus himself identified and he says, you know, that he, I recognize the thirst that's in your heart and that this thirst that you, this craving, this drive that you have toward meeting these needs through, through, through the things around and outside of yourself, uh, once, once you drink the water that I give, you will never, never be driven from the outside in, but forever you will be driven from the inside out. And so that's why when I wrote this, I said, is it possible God himself is the only one that can truly fill this empty void? Absolutely. He is the only one. It says, if true, then the person who discovers this mystery becomes the most powerful person 
on the planet. Why is that? Why is that? Answer the question. If you've got, uh, pick up this book or you want to make notes below this video, uh, why do you think once you, you, the thirst for value, worth, and love are met by Jesus, why does it then give you, make you the most powerful person on the planet? Well, we know ultimately Jesus is, but but I think you know what I mean here, that you become the most valuable, most powerful person uh, among your peers, among your family, among those around you. It's your work. Why? Answer that question. If you take a moment and just write, if you don't have a copy of my book, right here on the Facebook page or in the comments of YouTube, write your answer and uh, maybe you'll get a free, free copy sent to you of my book as a result just kind of a, a prize okay to the best answer <laughs> okay so hey this was day 19 i appreciate you being with me and i'm excited to get this book out to you man it's uh, uh this thing is uh is a, is a book that will change your life will help you transform your life and give it as a gift to somebody as well so hey with that god bless you i can't wait to see you till uh tomorrow on day number what 19 no 20 number 20 so with that we'll see you tomorrow god bless you